morning everyone this is my first vlog or vlog or whatever you're supposed to call it and today I just want to talk about running after surgery I had a hysterectomy six weeks ago um, as of Monday today is Saturday so I'm two days shy of six weeks and I'm just getting the itch to get out there and get running um, it's been really tough following the doctor's orders to wait I tried to ask him if I could go a little early and he said no wait till six weeks I am two, day, two days shy, so don't tell. But I'm just gonna go out this morning, try to maybe get in three miles. Um, I run with intervals, so I am going to lessen the running portion of it. I'm gonna try maybe 15 second intervals. Sounds like nothing, but at least it's just a little bit my body getting used to running again. And probably like 45 second walk. And if I'm feeling good with that, I might up it to 30 and then maybe keep the 45 second walk and see how it goes. So I will let you know. Um, so thank you. Good morning. Hello again. I am at the indoor track or gym at the University of Buffalo this morning, trying to get in run number two, training for the Broad Street 10 miler. Um, if you've been following, I just had surgery about six weeks ago today. I had a hysterectomy due to endometriosis, and I have four weeks to get build up to 10 miles for the race. So um, it was snowing here in Buffalo today, so I decided to take it indoors. It's really quiet in here, and you, know, you could hear a pin drop, so I'm feeling a little awkward talking to myself here, but so. So anyways, I'll update you and let you know how it went. Thanks. Good morning, everyone. So um, now that I'm back to exercising, I really appreciate the fact that I am able to do so. So I want to try some different exercises besides just running, which is what I typically do. And um, I started a couple days ago with, with running and I went to a track and ran up and down all the stairs along the gymnasium. But today I'm trying something brand new for the first time, which is hot yoga, or I think it's called Bikram yoga. My friends just call it hot yoga. So a girl I work with was uh, asked me if I wanted to go, so I'm gonna give it a shot, and I'll let you know how it goes. Um, excuse me, itching my legs. One of the first things she told me is no lotions because I'm gonna slip, and of course I took a hot bath because I needed to shave my legs, and my legs are so itchy from living in freezing cold Buffalo. So, um, so that is a tip if you're gonna try hot yoga, according to my coworker, is no lotions. She told me no makeup, but, um, I put a little cover up on because there's no way I'm going out with absolutely no makeup. So anyways, um, <laughs> I'm always sneaking things. Anyway, so um, I will let you know how it goes. Wish me luck, bye. Okay. So good morning. Good morning. <laughs> this is Dee and we're going to, if you can see the sign, Bikram Yoga. And we're heading into our class. We'll let you know how it goes after, bye. bye. Hi, this is Jackie, Hi. and we have Dee here. We just finished, I just finished my first Bikram yoga class. She's a professional. Oh, no. <laughs> As you can see, I'm not. It was so hard, super sweaty. And she did awesome for her first class. She survived. She Any didn't tip? walk out of the room. Did I what? You, I didn't, you did not walk out of the room. No, I didn't walk out. I just laid there a little bit more than everyone else. But anyway, thanks for watching. Good morning, everyone. Today is Thursday. Um, I am six days back into exercising since I had my surgery. And one thing I'm trying to do different this time is try different types of exercising. I'm generally focused on running and building up my miles and I stick to just running. But I have had some knee issues, so this time, since I've had a nice break to heal, I wanna mix it up a bit, try a few different things. This week I've tried running, done the stairs at the arena. Um, yesterday I tried hot yoga, and today actually I was gonna run, and it's howling wind out there. So instead I'm gonna try some exercises in the comfort of my own home, which means I get to wear my glasses, my sports bra, my pajama bottom, and get it done a lot faster. So what I'm going to do today is I searched some exercises on YouTube and I found a 20 minute total body workout that I'm gonna to try to do for the first time and I'll let you know how it goes. Thank you. Hi everyone, this is Jackie and I'm just doing my final recap of my first week back to exercising after my surgery. 
So a week ago today I started my first run and I took it easy with my intervals. Um, if you recall, I, I had shorter intervals, but as the week went on, I realized I'm feeling good. My body's healed. It might be a little weak, but I pushed myself a bit more. So today I finished the week off with um, a long run, which I, attempt, I attempted to do five miles. And I actually was feeling really good, so I did six miles. And um, for some reason, I just felt really good today, kept going. So I'm really happy with my progress. Um, my goal, once again, is to do Broad Street, the 10 miler, which is in three weeks from tomorrow morning. So at least I'm feeling a little more confident that I'm gonna be able to do it. Um, my advice the first week is listen to your body, of course. Um, luckily, I, I felt good, I felt happy. I have tried lots of different exercises, so it's not just the running, so my legs are getting a break here and there. I've done some arm works up workouts. Um, I did an at-home workout, and um, I actually had I think two days rest in there as well. So tomorrow will definitely be a rest day, even though I'm feeling good. I'm not sore, which is good news. Um, but um, and I will let you know how week two goes. So see you soon.